look at that landscape. Those amazing green hills with the incredible river Calca in Colombia running through the background. But what you might not be able to see is the huge ecological damage and the massive loss of employment in this area. This is why we have come to visit an amazing farmer, Sebastian Velasquez, who's risking it all for the benefit of his entire community. Do you see those patches of dark green in the background? That's coffee. The trees providing shade, capturing carbon and moisture and the thousands of dark green coffee plants producing tons of fruit and therefore tons of employment. The whole landscape used to be this way, but with the rising price of meat and the falling price of coffee, everything has changed. So Sebastian had to do something crazy. He had to go out there and find out a new way of creating value, a new way of cultivating coffee, a new way of producing flavor, and something new to teach his entire community. And that's where we come in. If you fall in love with this project by the end of this video, then there'll be a special opportunity to taste these incredible coffees. With all this said, a special thanks goes out to Edgar Betancourt, Sebastian's uncle, who's encouraged him on this project. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So good morning, everyone. So we're with Sebastian on Finca El Diamante. He's like the third Hi, generation. Mm. He's like the third generation uh, farmer to kind of work here, producer to work here, but he's making some real kind of changes. He has a vision for the place. And um, so I thought, yeah, I'll let you introduce. Yeah. Yourself. Hi everyone. Thank you like for seeing this video. Mm. And yeah, we are trying to make a really big project. We are starting with like a little yeah. thing, but I think in a few oh. years it's going to change all our menu. That's mm. our mission. Man. Like, we have to like work really hard. To work really hard. What was it that you kind of saw um, when you say change Armenia, when you say help the community? What is it? Yeah, that like saw? yeah, yeah. I discovered when I came here to work like two years ago, talking with the people, like mm -hmm. understand a little bit more, and they say all the time Armenia a few years ago was really good because the population was really big. Mm -hmm. So. Like a few years ago, there's living like 17 or 20,000 people here in Armenia. Mm -hmm. And now the population here is like 4,000. Mm -hmm. So to understand that, I just try to ask the people mm -hmm. why they are moving. And there's because they don't have a job. Mm -hmm. Because all the farmers I are changing the ag agriculture. Yeah to move into a really simple business is cow, like yeah cow okay so we're just gonna have a little chat now with with some of the guys at the farm and trying to get some more perspective over what's like kind of really going on here and what this farm means and and, and how coffee matters to people from armenia um so first we have uh Doña gloria see mm -hmm. um she's been here for 20 years we're gonna have a whole separate conversation with her in a bit um she'll tell us the stories of this town and everything we have comino and diana I'm going to ask them basically what does coffee matter to you here and then ask them like what would happen if, if, if things continue to change the way they are with the coffee disappearing for, for, for cows. So yeah, ¿Qué significa café por ustedes? ¿Qué significa café por ustedes? Pues en, en la vida Una, como... Sí. Una importante. Sí, es, es un ingreso de, 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 no, de sustento. sustento de la mayoría de la gente. ¿Por sus familias tam, también? Mm. Sí. ¿Por generaciones? Eso es. ¿Sí? sí, por sí. generaciones. Entonces, ¿qué piensas sobre el cambio con, con las vacas aquí? Y no. Eh, no, no está bueno. No, no está bueno. No, 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 no está bueno, no va a estar. Porque todas las familias nos sostenemos de esto. Casi toda la mayoría de Carmen mm. nos sostenemos con el café. Mm. Y mucha gente que viene de otras partes. Pues, uh -huh. que ah, viene, ¿sí? viene gente de Luila y muchas partes vienen a Cuerca Vieja. Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Y do you know any friends which have like had to move away because there's not as much coffee here anymore? ¿Ustedes han tenido como, o tienen amigos que se hayan tenido como que ir de aquí porque no hay trabajo o no hay suficiente café mm. para...? Muchos. Sí. Mm. La, mayor la mayoría. La mayoría. ¿Y qué pasaría con ellos? Like, ahora. Ahora, ahora no, 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 no,
the landscape's changed a lot. Yeah. It used to be super green, and now yeah. there are these patches of like yellow grass everywhere. Everywhere, and, uh, yeah. That has a massive impact on one of our great concerns, right? Like climate change, supporting ecosystems in these kinds of parts of the world. And it's not just about, you know, having projects that reforest, it's about creating an economic situation in which it makes sense still to like kind of be growing more trees and growing more crops and, you know, because especially coffee is cool because it grows under the shade of trees, right? So yeah, that, and then, I try to like, like, how how is it gonna work? Like, yeah. it's gonna be like this all the time with Armenia, mm. and I try to like figure out if I can do something, and mm. then I discover the special coffee. Mm. So when I discover the special coffee, mm. I, say, I I just think like mm. the coffee can be mm -hmm. a really good business again. Yeah. Like when I meet the special coffee, mm. I try to understand more the, that business. Mm -hmm. And I see the the special coffee needs like mm -hmm. to pick the cherries mm -hmm. like really like worthful. Yeah, so yeah. you have to teach all the pickers how to take this that the, that kind of cherry you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué piensas sobre los nuevos procesos y nuevas como métodos de recolección aquí? Do they know like have they been here since before? Yeah. So, so they know how it's changed. And like it's become specialty coffee now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so what's what's? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's cool. And for that you have to pay more. Mm -hmm. So the picker is gonna make more money. Mm -hmm. If the picker makes more money, mm -hmm. his family uh, okay. is gonna get a better life. Yeah. If the family is good, mm -hmm. so the, the town community. yeah, the community is gonna be like better. Yeah. So that's why I okay. saw like it's not just for me or for the finca ah, okay. a, a good business, you know? Yeah. It's for the all the community. Right. So right. I try like really hard, like in a small scale. Mm -hmm. Like do something like I can like get better and better with, mm -hmm. with the coffee. But this kind of coffee yeah. have a lot, a lot of yeah, a lot of flavor, a lot of difference between yeah. other fincas. Different so, lots. Yeah. Yeah. Special. So, special yeah. yeah. Hey guys, so you just heard uh, some of the guys here talking about how they're basically more proud of the work they do, how like, you know, visually especially because all the cherries are so red, so even and they have to like focus a lot in picking and stuff like that, um, where it's different on other farms that aren't speciality. So I asked them also because speciality coffee is new here, only been running it for like really a year and about nine months since the first proper like harvest and everything. Have you managed to try and taste it? They said. Not really, we'd love to, so we're going to go through that uh, now. We're going to show them basically their work and it's going to be quite exciting to see how they respond to like, I don't know, a, a new style of coffee, new flavour of coffee that they're part of creating. So I'm quite excited about that. Hopefully you guys are excited about that too. I know they are. <laughs> so without uh, further ado, let's go back in and, uh, and, and try make, make a couple of cups of coffee. No veo mucha como diferencia. Miel. No, sí, pero puede tener un poquito más de, de poder. Claro, no, usted puede poner el tiempo con la de 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 la I start making these things. Okay, and that's actually really cool. And um, that that you know, it it's it's not just a project that that you're going for like the cows because it helps the landowner make more money from the yeah. land. But actually, it's a project, even though it's harder. <laughs> it's much harder yeah. than cows. 
that uh, has, would have a real impact in the community because there's so many pickers here that they could then start to earn better, live better. But also I think what you mentioned earlier um, to me about employment, because, because cows, like literally you only yeah. have like one person for like maybe 20, 30 cows. Yeah, the area who needed for cows mm. is, is just like for 20 cows, mm. you only need like one people. <laughs> you know, to take care. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, for twenty cows. For twenty cows, if you use that area for coffee, you need at least like sixty people, like sixty mm. pickers in the cosecha, mm. and then you need like ten people to oh, take yeah. care of the yeah. All so, the what coffee. kind of area do you need for twenty cows? Like how many hectares? Twenty. 20 hectares least, of one yeah. cup. For it one depends hectare. of the land. If the land is like that, ah, like okay. here, you need like 20 hectares. Okay. okay. If you said the cows have to burn a lot more energy. Yeah. Yeah. And and then like how many coffee plants can fit in 20 in, in one hectare? In one hectare, hmm. we can put like 2,000, 3,000. Two, depends of the variety. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> like, <laughs> just think about this. We need in Cosecha like, like 60 people. Hmm to work with us with the coffee. Mm -hmm. If we change the coffee for, for cows, mm -hmm. we need just like one people. One person. Yeah, one wow. person. Wow, wow, wow. And so, yeah, that's happening all over mm -hmm. Armenia. And now it makes sense. Yeah, that makes either. sense. Yeah, the change. So it's the afternoon now, and we're just having a bit of a coffee break on the farm with, uh, with the Don Agustin. Don Agustin. Don Agustin over yeah. here, who's known this farm for how many years now? ¿Cuántos años lleva trabajando ya? 35. Aquí en el Diamante. 35 years. Mm -hmm. And how many, ¿cuántos años en Mantequilla? ¿Cuántos, ah, años? Mantequilla. ¿Cuántos años lleva viviendo aquí ya en Armenia Mantequilla? Mm, Toda la vida. Toda mi vida, 79 <laughs> añitos. 79. He's been living here in this town for 79 years. We've been working on this one for 35. So he's seen it all, he's seen all the changes. I just want to kind of ask him about some stories and get to know, get, get, get to know this place um, better through story. Y por eso, entonces, ¿cuál, ¿qué Armenia prefiere? ¿El que era antes o el que está en este momento? El antes. El antes. Sí. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque empezó la gente, ya no había la obra de mano. Eh, los Los que trabajábamos y trabajaban en las fincas, que había trabajo para toda la gente y sobraba trabajo, ya no. Ya no, ya, ya no hay casi trabajo. Luego, entonces empezaron las familias a desplazarse de Armenia a la ciudad de Medellín, a Prado, Itagüí, Medellín, buscando una sí, nueva vida. Claro. Porque aquí las cosas se ponían, se ponían difíciles. En ese momento estamos aquí en la propia finca El Diamante. Eh, son como 100 cuadras, 120 hectáreas ahora la gente y toda era sembrada en café y cacao. cacao ya con el tiempo ya llegó el momento en que no había ni con quien coger el café acá porque todos iban, se iban yendo con otros rumbos a buscar otra nueva vida por falta de trabajo y de empleo en el pueblo Y fuimos saliendo, fuimos disminuyendo, disminuyendo, hasta que fuimos rebajando, rebajando. Una rebajona más o menos. De la cantidad que habíamos ahora, cuatro mil y punticas de, de habitantes. Sí, Pero de todas maneras, de una u otra manera, sea como se sea, siempre sigue siendo el Armenia querido, el Armenia bueno, el Armenia donde nosotros nacimos, aquí vivimos, y hasta el momento aquí estamos, Y seguiremos luchando y estando acá en Armenia porque no tenemos para dónde más irnos. Y va a mejorar, en Armenia, va, va, va a mejorar más. Va a mejo Esperamos que ojalá sí, sí, Armenia no. mejore. Porque Armenia, Armenia es un pueblo sano, un pueblo donde usted puede venir a pasear, a recrear, a estar ahí. No tiene problemas, no tiene peligros. Entonces... Nosotros los armenios aquí vivimos bueno, gracias al Señor. Nos conseguimos la comidita, los arrocitos y ahí vamos. Ahí vamos y en este momento nos tomamos un poquito de tinto de la pasilla del diamante. ¿Cómo me ve? Ah, ya papi. De la pasilla. Es el bueno.
Y en muy buena compañía. Acá el amigo. Sí, amigos. Bueno, el amigo. Chita. Este es muy león. Ahí, ahí me está invitando, va para la casa del por año, no sé dónde era, pues yo me voy. Yo me le pego al hombre. ¿eh? Entonces, de manera que aquí estamos bien, gracias al Señor. Agra muy agradecido con Don Edgar, el patrón, que hasta el momento nos ha luchado, hemos tenido los arroces sobrados mm. y estamos bien. Mm. No tenemos problema. Esperamos sí. seguir así si Dios quiere. Total. Sí. Permiso, me tomo esto un poquito. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we spoke to the guys a bit about this yesterday, but how do you feel about people leaving Ar Ar Armenia? Is, is it a better life when they leave Armenia from Medellin or the big cities, because that's where apparently they go? Yeah. Or is it like, does their life get more difficult when they leave? I think it's more difficult because it's really hard because they, mm. like, their knowledge mm. is from the campo, like, oh, yeah. from the fincas. Mm. So when they move, they are gonna, they're not gonna have a really good job, just yeah. like job to eat. Just to, mm, yeah, just to make ends meet. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. They, they also have generations out here. They yeah. know this really, really well. Mm -hmm. But also, like everyone that I've spoken to so far that lives on this finca anyway, they uh, or works with this finca. They they talk about. I mean, like in the morning, the guy was singing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, the guy yesterday was sending us his stories of growing up here. It's, 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 it's a simple life, but it's beautiful. They say it's peaceful, there's no violence yeah. here. Um, you've got the good food, yeah. nice landscapes. If you like uh, compare like the salary in a city yeah. with the salary here, mm -hmm. with the special coffee, they're going to make more money. So out here, that's really interesting. So yeah. they don't have to leave the, the town. Yeah. They are with the families, families. their friends, mm -hmm. and they're going to make like more money. If we can show that the coffee is from here, from, from a farm that's starting out trying to make a change, can uh, have an opportunity within a couple of years to be selling this coffee um, to, to, to good people, to people who enjoy it and appreciate yeah. it. Uh, around the world, if we can show that that is doable, other farmers will join and also other people from other farms will join. Um, and, and I think that's the kind of precedent that we're trying to, trying to yeah. set. It's not if you're just a big farm with big connections, then you make sociality coffee. Yeah, it's, that's the vision, like, mm. go with the neighbors and tell, like, okay, yeah. we are making a good job, so you can, like, be yeah, a co like a coffee thinker again. You can be a coffee thinker again, which I think speaks to their heart because everyone here, like, grew up with coffee. They love yeah, like in coffee. Yeah. You heard that, all that stories. So, like, yeah, with the people. So yeah, they say my grandfather, my dad. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All the people work through that. It's deep part of the culture, right? Mm -hmm. you know, they say the coffee runs through our veins. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a project like involving mm -hmm. all the things in the change. All the things in the chain, yeah, like all from the beaker mm -hmm. to the customer. Mm -hmm. So all, all is a same project, you know. And we're all part of it then. Yeah, and I think that's a huge, huge difference. And I think that we're gonna see like progress here in Armenia on the farm. We're gonna get better coffee out of it. And and yeah, I, something that I, I feel really lucky to to be part of. Um, I feel really lucky to have met you. And Thank I you think. <laughs> And, and I think everyone at home, if or if you work in a cafe or a roastery and you're watching this and you believe in it, give us a call. Um, get in touch because it's the only way that this is going to go forward is with your help. Because right now we're sat on a farm and, and the coffee needs to be in your cup. <laughs> so so that's, that's, that, that, that we require your help and your participation. And like I said, Chef Venture Origins, I think, is becoming a, a community, um, and the community has to involve everyone. And so, if you want to become part of this community, if you want to be a part of something like this, then more than welcome, you're invited. <laughs> Just uh, go to the website, chefventureorigins.coffee, and uh, throw us an email, same on Instagram, or join the mailing list, something so we can start to communicate more directly. 
Yeah, this will be pretty amazing. So, this so a twist to the tail. <laughs> so a twist to the tail. One of the cows just had a baby. So we're just headed up the hill to make sure everything's okay, the cow's okay. You know, one of the things I want to make clear at this point, it's a great opportunity to do so, is that people who farm cows, they're not doing a bad thing. They take care of them, they're taking care of their families. That's why they've chosen, chosen to move coffee to cows. The only thing is, is that if there is a better way to support the community, we should be exploring it. And it's not me, it's people like Sebastian who are from this town that are thinking of new ways. Whew. Oh, that's a steep hill. That are thinking of new ways, putting the effort into creating new paths. And it's only that I want us to support them, to create that situation where it's easy to support them. And, uh, oh wow, wow. That's what we're doing. And I think the goodness of people's hearts will mean that as, uh, as we create these paths, they'll follow. Because it makes sense for them. It's better for them. That's amazing. I've never seen this in my life.